Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. When high school senior Eric Feely begins his college career next fall, he'll be on a fast track to graduation. I'll have uh, English out of the way for good. I'll have a science and a math. Eric takes dual enrollment classes and receives college credit while still in high school. If they give me the opportunity, then why not? Eric is in line to receive a Bright Future scholarship. The award will pay for his undergraduate classes, but since Eric already has college credit, some of the scholarship may go unused. Proposed changes being presented to state lawmakers next month could allow Eric to use what's left on graduate school. So you enter college more prepared for college and hopefully you'll be done sooner. Ed Moore is a member of the Higher Education Coordinating Council, the group recommending the changes. Moore says they would keep the brightest minds in the state. It would help entice them to go to Florida graduate schools. If you go to grad school in Florida, you're mo most likely to stay in Florida and work in Florida. The recommendations also include allowing students to use Bright Futures in the summer. Both changes would encourage early graduation and free up class space for incoming students. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.